Mike's Garage after a fabulous weekend at the MCACN show in Chicago. Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. What can I say? Bob Aston and your team, Vicki, Ian, your son and, and wife, uh, you do a fantastic job. And the muscle car industry appreciates you a lot. I got a lot of great footage while I was there. I'll put it together in a great video and hopefully you'll enjoy that. But uh, um, we're getting the car unloaded. And as you can see, Mike bought a beautiful sign that will display somewhere in the garage. And also behind me is a sponsor pick from Meekum, John Craman from Meekum Auctions. He's their, uh, one of their spokesmen, picked this car after we told him the story. And I tell you, it was, uh, uh, truly a heartfelt reward for this car and the people around the car. You know, I, you know, Mike got the award. Yeah, that's true. But Mike needs a team of people to get him there and get the car shined up and get it running good. And Larry, Mike, and myself are just three good buddies who love to do this kind of stuff. And we just uh, appreciate Chevelle's and everything about them. And what's more, uh, you know, is the stories behind these Chevelles and what, what brings them to the uh, McCacken show. This is a one owner car and I've featured it in uh, videos before. The gentleman that uh, owned it was 94 years old. And I do remember his son who was in the seventies. We bought the car from him. They used to, I mean, used to bring the car to the nursing home just so he could look out the window and appreciate it uh, as, as he got to on with his life. Uh, so it was a very special car and uh, I hope we did him proud. Um, but anyway, back to the weekend. A lot of cute stories I'll bring you uh, throughout the week. Uh, once again, uh, thank you to Mike and Larry. You fed me, you dined me, you wined me. We had, uh, oh my God, we had great times and I've got a lot of great video. And uh, it was just part, it was great to be part of the crew and great to get this award from Meekum. So, um, all right, that's all I got to say here. Um, I'm gonna do a little clean up here. Mike's still sleeping. Uh, we got in about 2.30 a.m. last night. Uh, I just talked to Larry, he's doing good. Mike's a little under the weather, so we uh, wish him the best. It was his birthday yesterday and he got sick, darn it but uh, it is what it is. All right, this is really cool. You can hear a Buick 454 stage one running right over here. <laughs> it's kind of chirping too. But uh, here's one of the motors. And I recently, sh sold, recently sold a Buick 350 to a Buick buddy over in Lorraine. Jello, you know who you are. And uh, it's cool to see this motor sitting on a stand and uh, be able to look all the ins and outs and all the little details. Here's what you need to do, Jerry, to make your car engine look really, really nice. I mean, that's very, very cool. They're finally getting all these wing cars kind of situated, I think, with the way they want them. But it's uh, really cool how they got this set up with a runway. And hopefully I can get uh, some video of these cars once they get all these uh, people out of the way. And we've got a Corvette sitting here right now that I guess broke down. It couldn't get back to the right place. But uh, yeah, it's some cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. Got Gary over here setting out all these bikes up, and uh, there's some really cool bikes. I didn't bring a bike this year, but uh, it's a lot of fun to look at all these bikes and check them out. Gary does a fabulous job with uh, his display, and I think uh, one of my favorite bikes right now that I'd like to get is a 1964 Schwinn Stingray, sort of similar to this red one. Pretty, pretty cool. I don't know if Mark has $3,500 to buy that, but very cool. Another pretty cool Yanko SC Nova. I, I'm digging this car. 
don't usually like green cars, but this, uh, I don't know, just kind of drawn to this car. Very, very cool. Very, very cool Shelby's here. And hey, the car doesn't have to be perfectly restored or whatnot. It can be uh, lots of scratches and dings and dents. That's okay. What we're here to do is appreciate these cars and what they meant to the industry and how they, you know, just spurred a whole generation of people loving these cars that continue on these days. So uh, this is just a celebration of muscle cars, and I love it. For three years now. I just love stuff like this. Hey, got that, that makes it worth keeping because I've got, I've got a bunch of cars. Just love and people, that people were, I was almost wanting to bring it and the attention this car's got. This guy, it had the, I, I went and bought it. At old fields. Three kids had it. Father, second guy, he's a radio 